My name's Devanya. I'm 60 years old. I'm married, happily married, and um, I had an abortion when I was 16. My mom, my, actually I was 15. My mom knew I was pregnant before I did, and um, so she took me, and I didn't really have a say in the matter. I mean, I was just like, I didn't even know I was pregnant. She just put me in the car, and here we went. And this was, Roe v. Wade had just been passed the year before. So I was, it, this was 1974, and it wasn't very long after that that I started drinking, and I started drugging, and I couldn't get enough. And also, um, the guy that got me pregnant started physically abusing me and I allowed it. And I honestly think that I did that because unconsciously, I didn't have any self-worth because of what I'd done. Abortion became my form of birth control, so I didn't have just one. I was really on the most self-destructive course ever. I got clean and sober and um, met a really good man and we got married and um, we got pregnant and I was so excited, you know, I was finally going to have that baby. And, um, and I told my doctor even, I said, you know, I've had these abortions and I've heard that that can weaken you and you cannot carry to term. And he said, well, you would have to lose the baby first to make that true. Well, guess what? I lost my baby. I was almost seven months pregnant, and I, my cervix ruptured, and um, she was stillborn a few month, few weeks later. And so that was another death on my conscience, you know, because it was a direct result of the actions I had taken younger in life. But another one of the consequences was just never sleeping well, you know, like I would wake up in the middle of the night and I would just have this impending doom. And I just, you know, I never knew why. And um, I mean, there's no other way to describe it except just horrible guilt and shame. It just was uh, unbearable, really. Shockingly, the Christians in my life have supported me, you know, the, the people in my church that I was terrified to find out have loved me, you know, and loved on me through this. What healed me was God. You know, that's what ultimately healed me was Jesus. Going through the, the recovery program that I went through is what helped me realize that, you know, that, that He was, His blood was sufficient for all. You know, even mine, I think I just finally realized that, you know, he was with me in that room when I did that, you know, and he was saying to me, don't do it, you know, and I didn't listen.